you friends and old welcome to today's video it has been a very long time since i posted i am very sorry about that i was just enjoying my summer and work and relaxing and not worrying about filming or editing so i had a really nice end to my summer i just wanted to show you my move-in process i'm living in massey this year with a roommate so i no longer have a single i'm rooming with Catherine, who i know from high school and we are very excited she's also a class of 2024 you'll definitely be meeting her at some point so i just wanted to show you my move-in process process which was very chaotic and also a quick room tour. I know I promised a room tour last year of Simmons and never delivered so I figured I might as well just do a quick room tour in this video and then leave it at that. You'll definitely see my room in future videos anyway in more detail so I think that's good enough. I'm so sorry for being gone for so long but it is great to be back so I hope you enjoy the video. currently at a secluded area in the airport, having just gone through an entire experience, including me thinking that I, or basically almost losing my driver's license and forgetting my jacket. But here it is, and I got the driver's license. So it worked out, but that was stressful. I'm finally at MIT. I wish I could sound more enthusiastic, but I have such a long day of moving ahead of me. So here's a list of things that I need to do before I can even start moving. I have to go turn in my COVID test and then check into Massey, which is the dorm I'm going to be in. And then I get to go do some Theta pre-recruitment stuff before I get into my zip car and then go drive between the apartment and my dorm to move stuff in. So it's gonna be a long day, but I am very excited to be back. Got my new test, have my suitcase, and there's my new home for the semester, or for the year actually. Here's the room. It's a surprise! My roommate. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Catherine. Nice to meet you. All right, and here's my bed and everything. It's such a mess. So excited to finally be in the dorm. And the, the hallways have AC, which is insane, even though the rooms don't. But honestly, this is better than nothing. It's Daisy. Hi, guys. <laughs> long time no see. <laughs> it's been like, actually, no, it has been a long time. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, we're walking to the Theta house to do whatever. Secret sorority stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then bleep this out. <laughs> yep. That's exactly what we're doing. Anyway, this is, this is fun. The weather is really nice today. Though. It is. Yeah. Bye. It's still here. My work. Amazing. <laughs> this is some intense labor. <laughs> Love it. Fridge has also been acquired. Thank you to Daisy. Ah, oh, this is so heavy. All right, time for us to lift this fridge. We're very weak. Um, <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> stuff in this car but we got it all in one trip this is such a chaotic process but at least we're about to get to the floor say hi jake hi team that's we... all i got <laughs> he's been moved in for a while or he's living in his frat house i found a pregnancy test under my bed to watch them say hi Hello, I'm Subash. Where are you living? I'm Subash so much. Uh, in a PKT house with Jake. Nice. Yeah. I'm Daisy. And we're both in Massey. They're also filming a Marvel movie here. Here's the status of my side of the room. I have a lot of stuff. There's dumbbells right there, trash bags of both my stuff and other people's stuff. So this isn't all my fault. And then I made my bed very 
uh, I kind of made my bed last night so I could sleep, but I haven't unpacked everything and there's just a lot everywhere. My hair is a mess, I'm sweaty, and I'm taking a snack break because I've made some decent progress. There's just a lot going on on this desk right now, so I need a break. Here's a status update. I'm still not done packing. It is now Tuesday. And the problem is I have recruitment or pre-recruitment and Rex events, which is residence exploration, where all the dorms host different events. And since I didn't get it freshman year, I've been attending the events this year, but there's so much to do. And also associate advisor meetings because I'm an associate advisor for Concourse. Just so much to do and no time to unpack. So I'm just living sort of in a state of chaos and middle ground because I am just, it's a mess. So I'm gonna watch some Criminal Minds while I continue to unpack this. I have a plan though, so I kind of know where everything's going now and it should be a little bit better. problem with living far away you have to bring all of your winter clothes because there's no way to ship it all and also there's no good time at which you switch your winter to your spring clothes so if you can't drive home you have to bring all of your clothes with you and so now I like definitely overpacked for other reasons too but this is another reason I have so much stuff Here's a status update of my room. I've kind of unpacked the makeup and there's just a mess right there. There's mess right there. Some blankets and a new t-shirt, I think. I don't even know what the yellow thing is. I think it's a new t-shirt. But all the boxes are gone at least. The closet's sort of organized and I have some stuff up there. So everything should be fine and dandy, right? But I have a boot on my leg now because I think I got a stress fracture running while I was at home and that's just really fun for me so yeah Catherine's parents just moved some more stuff in and it looks so cute now we have a couch with a white blanket and pillow a little coffee table these two rugs right here um, another chair there's a rug over there and it just looks so good okay so i'm standing at the door right now i'm going to give a view of my room Here's the official status update. So I have, uh, this is Catherine's lamp right here, and then trash can right here. This thing with some school supplies in my backpack. There's my chair in the middle of the room. And then we have my desk over here. I have some drawers down there, um, just clothes, and then extra like baking supplies and just random miscellaneous things in the left cabinet. And like, again, miscellaneous things up there. I have my bed with like several blankets and a comforter and then all of this stuff at the top so makeup toiletries and books and then just classic school supply stuff got some ipad and notebook stacked right there and then i have my closet i'll do a tour of this you'll see this in later videos it's kind of a mess right now but there's clothes down there some food in there more clothes hanging up this is Catherine's side of the room and then here's our like shared space. We just got these rugs moved in and I'm so excited. Thank you to our parents for bringing them. They're adorable and make the room so much nicer. There's a coffee table right here, this black couch thing. We're gonna get Catherine's fridge over there. There's my lovely fridge that you might've seen before. And then this like ledge thing. Haven't decided exactly what we're gonna put here, but there's just some random stuff. The lights don't really work because the remote doesn't have a working battery, so. Also, peep the watch tan line from this summer. 
it is so bad. Here's like the rest of Catherine's room. I won't show that. We have some a nice view over there. There's Kresge, so the side that's opposite the river. And I just realized you really can't see this side, but that's the river side. I actually haven't tried to see if I can actually see the river, so that's something I should do. All right, time to put all of these Polaroids up there, which I finally put up. Okay, I know I did the room tour already, but all that has changed is that this wall is now prettier, so I like it a lot. I'm now currently in the basement of Massey, exploring. I've located the laundry room. It's been a long time since I've used this laundry, but it's, at least it's cheaper than the laundry in the apartment, which was $2 per wash and two dollars per dry cycle. Also have my crutches <laughs> and my laundry on my back, which you can barely see. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so glad to be back. I don't know how frequently I'll be able to post because it's gonna be a stressful semester, but I'm very excited. I will do some hopefully academic planning type video at some point if I have time to edit, of course. Stay tuned for that. I'm using pretty much the same planning system as last year and I can link that video below. It worked really well, so I'm probably just going to continue that and nothing much has really changed and definitely in future just day in the life vlogs you'll see how I manage my school schedule and planning for classes and doing homework and everything. I'm quite excited for the semester to start and I hope you are too. So thank you again for watching, thank you to everyone who has been there for me and reached out on Instagram, it is great to meet you all and I will see you next time, bye!